West Haven family is pleading for the person who stole a statue out of the yard to return it. It's a story that came to us from our reported inbox. The statue of gnomes was taken from their home on West Main Street. News 8's Jason Newton tells us why the statue is so important to their family. It's gone. All that's left is this patch of dead grass and the broken hearts of two-year-old twin brothers who miss their favorite lawn decoration. The bad person took your gnome. The bad person took your gnome? Yeah. Aw. We're going to try to get it back for you, okay? Okay. You said thank you. Would thank you love you. that? Thank you. You heard right. The bad person stole their gnome. But not just any garden gnome. This one held deep sentimental value for the young West Haven family. Trevi, whose gnome was that? Ours. Our gnome. Yeah. Do we want, want them to bring that back, our, our gnome? Yeah. Yeah. Tyler and Trevor were born six weeks premature. They had to be sent to the neonatal intensive care unit, and both parents were sent home without their newborn babies. The sad parents returned home to find this, a garden gnome standing more than three feet tall and weighing more than 100 pounds, carved out of solid cement waiting in the yard. Basically, it's one big gnome holding two little gnomes for these little guys. Papa Gnome holding his two sons was a gift made especially for the family by Eric's brother, otherwise known as Uncle Brian. When we walked home without them, it just made us really feel at home like they were with us. And now, honestly, now that the gnome is gone, it feels like a piece of us is missing. The family did call the police, but they just like the gnome back, no questions asked. It's really heartbreaking. You know, it could have been some kid who took it. Just bring it back. In West Haven, Jason Newton, News 8.